Hey, welcome back. We're going to do a reading for Aries today. Aries is going to be a general read for August 23rd to the end of August. This will be a general read, and we'll check out and see where you are and what's going on for you. I'm going to do a different layout for you today, and uh, we'll see how it resonates and works for you. We'll have a look and uh, see what happens. We have the Lover's card. We have the Tower. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is where you are right now, uh, Aries, in this Lover's energy. And this is where it seems like you want to be. Um, we have the Tower moving up into this energy. And it seems to me that um, there could be possibly a breakup that's happening, uh, but it's going to turn out for the best. There may be new love coming in, uh, and what is possibly working uh, against you is this Knight of, or King of Pentacles energy, where somebody really wants to be uh, secure. Uh, you can see, actually, the tower is your energy uh, right in the center of this reading. So let's start into clarifying here. Um, what is this lover's card for Aries, please? What is this lover's card for Aries? This almost seems like uh, a choice between work and a new path to me. Um, or this could be somebody that's uh, at work with you, Aries, that uh, you finally have made the choice, bringing you to this tower moment, offering this Ace of Cups, uh, this love energy. Um, what is the tower doing here? Hierophant. Ooh, Six of Cups and the Four of Cups. I see that somebody might actually be looking back at a past marriage or um, breakup with uh, somebody that they were really, really connected with. Moving uh, forward into this Knight of Pentacles energy, uh, let's clarify what the Knight of Pentacles is. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Sun card. We're just looking at that... Um, Aries, it seems like you're really wanting to become stable within yourself. Uh, that stability is coming as you're creating it here with this Eight of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Sun card saying, hey, yeah, this is actually the direction you're supposed to be headed in. But don't be disappointed uh, if that's a little late in coming. We do have this Ace of Cups, which is the offer uh, of a possible partnership. We could also look down at this Lover's card that is the offer of a possible partnership as well. Uh, what is this Ace of Cups, please? Four Aries. Six of Swords, Two of Cups. Somebody moved on from a previous relationship. Uh, they've got a new partnership that's coming, and it's got them healing. Uh, this is really good news, Aries. Um, looking at this King of Pentacles, uh, why is the King of Pentacles here, and how is it affecting Aries? Ooh, we have temperance here. We also have the fool and we have the six of pentacles. I feel that somebody's had a new offer that's come in that is really, um, can sort of set them up on their path uh, with the six of pentacles energy, possibly a new job, that type of thing. Uh, and we have temperance that's balancing uh, the effects of that out so that uh, it's, it's not as... Uh, emotional. So I can see that uh, in this read, Aries, you have this lover's card where you might have left a previous relationship or you're making a, de a decision between one. Um, you have a newer relationship that's coming in that's a lot smoother uh, than the previous one. Uh, also, focus the, that you're focused on this, uh, creating your own well-being 
uh, financially and your security in your material world, it can seem that that may be working against you uh, or having an effect on this new relationship. You're going to want to balance that out. We can also see that you're looking at the past here. Aries, I hope this makes some sense to you. Um, I'm going to pull three cards just for future advice for you, Aries. Wow. This is a really interesting combination because I've seen it come up so many times in the last week reading for uh, the signs. The Emperor, the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, to me, this says keep going in the direction you're headed. Uh, you're going to reach that point where you are going to sit into this Emperor energy where you're feeling really good about things. Um, again, we have the Emperor. That's your energy. We have the Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles, and those both saying that mentally, or sorry, emotionally, and within your material wealth, everything is going to work out. That's what I have uh, for you, Aries. Thank you for coming by. I hope this uh, resonates with you. And uh, thank you for liking or subscribing. Best of luck.